one question often comes up is what type, what stage of the company should I join? Like, should I join a startup or should I join a mature company? So the, this is not a, a question that's easy to answer um, because as I said, the career is very personal thing. Different people value different things and the startup and the mature company, they provide different benefit and they have their own concern as well. And I will just walk through um, what I, based on my experience, what I see and what's the difference between these two type. And it's it's you uh, gonna decide what, what you want, what's best for you. I worked at DuPont for uh, five years and I worked at the current startup for two years now. And I, when I joined the startup, it's series A, um, and we only have 20 something people. And now we are about a hundred people. So it's quite a journey to see the difference. So for, if you work at a startup, usually you wear different hats. Um, that's easy to understand because there's not enough people. And versus if you work at the mature company, um, you have more, well-defined role. Like when I was working at DuPont, I work, I'm not, I'm not just a data scientist. I'm also a data scientist in marketing, even in North American marketing. So it's very embedded and narrow role. So the method you use can be very limited um, in terms of, well, after I joined a startup, it's over the board. Um, it, sometimes you do something you didn't even dream of before. Um, you just need to wear different hats, whatever it takes. Um, and the second thing is, at a startup, you got to learn end-to-end -end process. Um, in a mature company, because you work for a very specific role, which means you sometimes you don't see the whole forest. You are very good at the spot. Like I never saw where the data comes from. From my point as a data scientist in a big organization is I have a database already there, a very clean schema. Uh, so I have no idea how the data flow and how it gets to production eventually. I just work on my part. Versus startup, you basically have to get data from the very beginning. Uh, when I, Especially when you join a company, if a company doesn't really have a database for data scientists, you have to dig it out um, from the very raw, raw source and then to clean out the data and you need to deploy it yourself. So no one will help you to deploy your result. So you do see the process end to end, but you don't go deeper at each point because the company cannot wait for you to go deeper. You're always on the go. So you do, you make something um, workable and then you move on. And you hear the word burn, burn rate a lot because startups need to raise money. So a lot of the planning, the strategy is around how, what's the current burn rate, how much money we have, and uh, how long we can last based on the current burn rate, and when should, we ha uh, when should we raise the next round money. So you are always under the pressure. So that's something you have to prepare versus you work for a big company, you never... It, it's, you have a lot of resource. You don't actually think a lot about um, running out of money. Um, and you get in a small company, you get to decide what you're going to do. Basically, you actually just, you are the one who define it. When I joined a startup, there's no data platform. So you, you're going to start from pick a data environment. So you're going to decide what to do and how to do it, what's the best way. Uh, versus in a big company, you have to, at least you have to start by following what's the current status, what's the current best practice, um, what and how to do things. Um, maybe at some time in the future, you will be able to do some innovation, but first it's less likely. Um, second, even it happens, it may be slower. Um, and you feel in a startup, you feel you are very important. I know many people in startup world, they enjoy that type of feeling that you are important, no matter if it's, I think for any organization, other than if you are not the co-founder, um, 
the comp the organization will probably be okay without you, but you can't deny that you actually see your impact right away and you feel you are important, indispensable in the organization. Versus in big company, you actually are indeed dispensable. You if if you leave the company, they, they will easily find someone to replace that role. Uh, that's that's just the way um, big company is. And in small company, you have very limited mentorship. You actually have to decide what is best for you. You don't always have someone tell you what to do and mentor you. But in big company, you can find, sometimes you can find a very good mentor or role model. That's, that's something I miss a lot um, by joining a startup. Um, in startup, you, you have to bear with ambiguity and frequent change. Um, versus big company, it's more um, stable and uh, you have clear direction roadmap. Um, and of course, from the benefits, the salary startup usually they pay lower than market value salary, um, not as good as big company, but they do pay very generous equity, especially depending on when you join the company. If you join earlier, um, the potential is higher for sure. If you join later because it's option, you, you need to pay more to buy the option. So, and there are a lot of intricacy. I, it, it's, it's, it's another, it's another thing. It's another story. Um, so I won't go into too much detail about a uh, startup option. Um, but I, one thing I, I do want to say is some people say it worth nothing. You have to treat it as zero value. I don't, I don't agree with that. It certainly has value. Sometimes it's significant. It's in terms of money value, it can be significant. Um, it's a matter of when you join a company um, and how the company develops. But if you join a startup, you buy a lottery ticket. Um, that's, that's something you just have to be clear to start with. And startup is not as stable. Um, and, bigger company provide better security. Um, and startup doesn't have, give you the brand. Um, I certainly sense that when I work for a big company when I, versus startup, when I go out to give a, a talk or a presentation uh, workshop, you feel different. People don't recognize the company name. Um, and startup moves fast and big company moves slower and less hierarchy in startup, if, if you are the type of person don't like red tapes, the hierarchy uh, management startup may be uh, a good place for you in, in that sense. A bigger company will have more rules and startup is more flexible in terms of time. You, you work, you need to work a lot uh, at startup. That's, I think in general it's true, but you also, you do have more flexibility in terms of when you work um, and uh, work from home or work in the office, not because the virus in general, I think my current company is very, very remote friendly. And regardless of the stage of the company, there are something I want to point out is even every company will claim to be a date-driven company, but they are still different. Um, that's something you need to find out before you join a company. I I will show two example here. It's not it's not good or bad. It's more about what you are looking for. So for this example, um, you can spend some time read the text, but in general, what you can feel like. If you read this, the team have much to learn from DevOps. It just, what you can feel right away is at, at least I will feel, it seems data is not, it's like secondary. Uh, I, I, I'm not saying you shouldn't learn from DevOps, but it seems like it's engineer heavy company and data is very secondary and it's not, a, they don't use data in a deep way. Um, I, I don't think that's hard to figure out here. And it also says the team will, eventually the team will include data scientists. That means they only do basic analysis. And it seems to be a company that's very heavy in engineering. So. What it tells me is if you are a person that has heavy engineering background, but not that deep 
in math or stats, and you, somehow you really you are very interested in doing data analysis, this actually will be the perfect company you can join. But if you are someone like me from the math stats background um, and very into machine learning and stats model and don't have that deep engineering background, I don't think this type of organization will be a good fit for me. And versus it's another company. Um, I, was, I was thinking that I should just hide the name, but it's very hard because it's Airbnb. It's a company I really like. Um, and just because the tool, the, the, the text mentioned the tool, if you look at the tool, you will know it's Airbnb. So I didn't bother to hide the name. Um, but just by reading this paragraph, you will feel like they actually do data science, not just data team. It's actually a data science team. If you are a machine learning engineer or data engineer or research scientist, data scientist, I think this will be the company that at least from, I don't know about the culture or uh, the management environment, but just by reading the professional, uh, the data science as profession, I feel like it will be a very good professional environment for you to grow professionally. So I think it, a good way to, before you join the company, if you want to figure out um, what type of role data plays in, at that company, um, you can go to check the blog, um, how they describe data, data, data science team uh, in their company. I think you will have a lot more idea after those research. And other than that, um, so I have talked about uh, different companies are different, uh, even they all claim to be data driven and you want to do some research to know exactly how this company is driven by data. Um, and the third point I want to make is team actually matters. Even in, inside one company, different team can be very different. So it, one difficult thing about it is it, it's very hard for you to figure out before joining the company um, if it's a good team. A way you can do is to talk to the team members or hiring manager to try to figure out the culture of the team, the personality, um, and how what's the daily life is. Um, but the manager and the team matters the most. You, product matters, but you don't join a company because of the product. Because in the end of the day, you actually work with your team member the most. You don't, those people say you don't leave a company, you leave your manager or you leave the team. I think that's true. And also, uh, if you want to be Google employee number 20, of course you have to join Google when it had only 19 employees. Uh, it goes back to startup versus big company. If, if that's what you want, you basically have to join a startup. 